Hello, it's Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, I'm back at the beautiful community of Vintage Oaks in the one acre section this time, located in New Braunfels, Texas. You know, you guys know I absolutely love this neighborhood. There's a house behind me that is about two, maybe two and a half months away from being completed. It's a custom home by, built by Lancy. It is a three bedroom, three full bath house, and it's 2745 square feet. Let's go check it out. This is such a beautiful one acre lot community. Sorry about the noise, the neighbor decided to fire up his Harley and it just has it idling and I didn't want to keep waiting. So we have tons of oak trees on this one acre property. Um, it, this is in the natural gas side of the community. So you don't have to worry about getting a propane tank buried. The natural gas is just always gonna be there. You can see They've got some uh, concrete work going on right now. It's going to be a long driveway coming back. A lot of the lot is the front of the property. So yeah, you're going to have this long driveway coming in. And then going back to that beautiful three car garage. Um, also with the if you're in the one acre section your property taxes are only going to be I forget is it 1.7 or 1.8 but it's a very low property tax rate and the reason it's different than in the Grove is the Grove still has a PID uh, public improvement district tax that brings their property taxes up to 2% so there is a tax advantage for buying in the one acre lot section of vintage oaks all right let's head on inside all right the harley rider has now left so you can get a little more sense of just how quiet this part of the community is checking out some of the stonework on the front end of the house and a nice little sitting area the sun does come up some more construction workers sun comes up on the front of the house and I'll be setting on the back of the house. Perfect for happy hour. All right, let's head on inside. Right, and we'll open right up to the great room and the office. So check out the office. You do have some really super tall ceilings in here. Love the fact they have an electric pl a plug already built in. So if you're under, if you're sitting your desk up to where you're facing away, everything can be plugged in with uh, uh, houses all there's no heating or no air conditioning going on right now so all the windows and doors are open that's what that loud sound was but definitely like the light fixtures that they've chosen and it's a very modern clean design so you come in you got a corner fireplace opening up this whole wall so if, uh, however big of a tv or in my case movie screen that i like you want to go you will have room for it there. Big sliding doors that, let's see, it doesn't go all the way in, but you can open up this to where, basically where those are, is where how wide open it can go. But let's check out this kitchen. This is a really cool kitchen design. Really long curved island. Loving the light fixtures there. And of course, no 50-50 sink. We have a full uh, single sink. And the view from the sink is gonna be really nice looking out all these windows. I mean, you're if you're someone that enjoys nice lighting, this house has tons of it. Where the dishwasher is gonna go. A little small island that has some cupboards in it. And then where your built-in microwave is gonna go and your gas cooktop. See the hookup for the gas right there. It's really cool looking vent hood. All right, right off the kitchen, we've gotta have a pantry. So check out the size of this one. That's a really nice size. Kind of an interesting color. It's kind of a grayish with a little tint of green in it. But then right next to that, we have the laundry room. And uh, this is a really neat laundry room because look at these windows and the light you're gonna have 
in your laundry room and all this counter space with uh, outlets there. So you really could use this as a staging area for your food as well if you wanted to. If you're hosting something big, a lot of cabinet space so you can come out and just kind of use it as a little bit of a butler's pantry before bringing it out to everybody else. All right, we do have a three car garage, a little extra bump out, super tall ceilings in here with already built in lights, which is really handy to have. Two water heaters so you never run out. And they've got this already extended to where you can back out and curve around to make it up that long driveway we saw earlier. But once again, lots of light windows in this garage. All right, coming back in again. All right, let's check out this back porch before we go up. Here's your formal dining room setup. Got a nice lighting there, plenty of space to kind of just center right on that. And just being able to enjoy being out here. Looks like some workers are showing up right now, so I'm gonna move forward really quickly. Uh, big, big deck. Love that A-frame with the wood built in. This is super oversized patio area. And remember the sun sets on the front of the house, so all this was gonna be available. We got steps coming down and this is a one acre lot you can see kind of where the pink rope is out there and kind of go back to you can't really see it but back down that way so if you're one of the pool pool or do anything you wanted to back here you really could okay all right i just talked to the construction manager he came through and for my clients who are considering this house there is no gas line out here as far as like for an outdoor patio the original purchaser of this house decided not to have one in there but you do have wired and blocked for tv and ethernet ports out here so yeah if you wanted to put an outdoor tv set up there you could put that mount it with a little swing arm type thing because man this is a wonderful space to be hosting uh parties and stuff and entertaining out here all right, let's head on inside. Oh, also pointing out that all three of these sliders do open up. I noticed the rail extends back there. So this whole wall will be able to open up. All right, now we can go hit some bedrooms. Ceiling drops down to it looks like a 10 foot ceiling now. Eight foot doors throughout. This bathroom does not have lights in it just yet, but I definitely love that flooring. And it's gonna have, there's your toilet and a little sink step around shower. So that's kind of cool. And this does share with this other bedroom here. So coming in this bedroom with lots of lighting, you would have access to that bathroom and shower there. Nice little mini walk-in closet. And then another bedroom on this side with its own attached bathroom with its own shower as well. So that's kind of neat. Three bedroom house and everybody's gonna have their own bathroom. And this is also gonna have a really good sized closet and a fully done shower. All right, and I know what you guys are wanting to see is the master bedroom and bath. We are heading that way now. Got another little storage closet with all of your ethernet uh, wires all going to one spot for your router. 
that's a really nice central location but let's check out the master bedroom lots of can lights in here really cool modern fan and this is a really good sized room with lots of big windows coming through the french doors we're gonna have two a dual vanity with a center cabinet really neat little lights set up there and that's a pretty cool light fixture going over your freestanding tub which will eventually be right here check out the shower i love the flooring they put in lots of shelf you're not gonna be able to fill that up with enough shampoo natural lighting in here throughout i'm 5'9 so no one can still the windows are high enough they're not going to be able to see any of your bits and pieces if you're taking a shower but it, you do have a nice feel for lights in here and dual shower heads your eventual water closet lots of space in there and then talking about natural light here's windows in the closet and that's a really good size closet as well now as i'm filming this it is the end of june 2022 the square footage is 2745 and the builders asking 875k well and 587,000. kind of an odd number but getting something like this under 900,000 is pretty crazy right now when you're seeing some houses at that price in the grove section this that's a well i'm seeing some people asking like 800,000 for stuff in a production neighborhood and for a little bit more and lower taxes you can get something like this in an acre section. All right, let's come wrap the tour of this custom home being built by Land C in the one acre section of Vintage Oaks. If you got any questions on it, feel free to reach out to me. And if you're watching these videos and considering moving to the great state of Texas, the best way to contact me is to click the link to my calendaring app in the description box and schedule some time with me. I'll be happy to help. All right, as always, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now.